Spirits. Hi Yogi, it's Carly Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. And um, welcome to your moon flow. Today we are going to start in Gomukhasana. So to warm up, come in with our ankles stacked, or our knees stacked. Ankles would be kind of weird. <laughs> so starting here in this position, uh, scoot your sits bones back, really ground into the earth and sit up tall. And you don't have to worry about your knees being perfectly stacked or touching. You can have a block or a pillow or even be sitting in more of a seated twist if that's a bit easier for you. Whatever your comfortable position is, we want to start opening up our hips for this flow. Um, but we're going to let gravity kind of start that work for us while we start getting into our Mula Bunda breath. So again, here our seated twist position will work great. And just start inhaling to the base of your belly, breathing in a 360 direction as you exhale, squeeze all of the air in and out. Exhaling through your nose. Inhale, exhale. Warming up with this breath, just starting to activate our deep core muscles. And we'll take this stretch a little deeper with a moonwalk. So you can start by just inhaling the long spine slightly forward. Of course, if your knee is up, you might just be leaning into your knee. And then start to moonwalk the spine over to the left. So we have right knee on top, moonwalking towards the left. When we do this moonwalk, our chest is facing towards the earth and we're extending long with our uh, top arm, so our right arm in this case, and getting a side body stretch. So we're not leaning over, it's kind of a twist and then a side body stretch for this moonwalk variation. And really think about grounding to the earth with your opposite hip so you're not lifting off the mat too much. Again, not worrying about taking the stretch too far, just starting to open up our muscles. And exhale, you can walk back to center, come back to sitting tall, and then we'll switch our leg that's on top or our knee that's on top, grounding into the earth and extending long through the crown of your head. Inhaling, exhale. Remember, we want to use our mula bunda breath through the entire flow. Inhaling and exhaling. And then taking the moonwalk now to the right. So again, facing our chest towards the mat. Now, if you're you know, still sort of open because of, you know, tightness, if you're still warming up, depending where your flexibility is, that's fine. But again, remembering that the goal is to turn towards the floor and not just come into a, a side body lean, which we can totally do. But today we're working on our moon stretches. So facing the mat, left arm this time is our top arm. So that's the one that's extending long. Remembering to ground into the earth with our opposite hip. And this still works if you're in a seated position. So maybe you're in a seated twist and moonwalking like this. And sometimes this even can open up your hips more than Gomukhasana, depending where you want to feel the flexibility. So play around with that, play around with the stretch, and then come back to center and walk yourself back up to sit. And from here, making your way onto hands and knees, and then Finding our way into down dog. So strong fingertips, strong palms on the mat. Start with bent knees and elbows and exhale. Keep your knees a bit bent as you start to lift your tailbone into the sky for down dog. Wave your spine long so you create space for your neck and shoulders. You're not hunched or squishing your neck. So wave, create that space. And then from here you can start to press back, extending your legs straighter, heels are making their way towards the mat. Now, this is our first down dog of the day probably, so uh, don't need to worry about pressing our heels all the way down. Well, again, letting gravity do the work. You can even start to pedal out your feet, warming up the backs of the legs. We'll do some dog to plank waves to warm up more. So slight bend in your knees and elbows waves you forward to a plank position. Slight bend in your elbows to exhale you back to down dog. And you 
you might find yourself um, moving your hands and feet a little bit to come into a more comfortable aligned position. For example, you don't want to be way over here in your plank. It's better to have your shoulders in line with wrists or just slightly behind. Exhale back to down dog. And last one, this time coming onto your knees, lowering to the mat through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Uh, roll your shoulders back, roll yourself in and up. You can come to a low cobra if that feels good, or to a higher cobra, and exhale back to down dog. Very nice. Now from here, right leg is going to lift, bend knees and elbows to create a lot of space to lift your right knee into your chest and step your right foot to your right thumb. Now from here, you're going to ground your left palms uh, strong on the mat underneath shoulders and right arm is going to extend towards the sky or twisting towards the right leg. We'll start some circles here. So bending your back knee, circling your arm behind you and circling it up. And as you come up, you start to extend your front leg into a revolve triangle. Circling down, bending everything again. And then coming to that first edge of stretch, circle down one more time. Very nice. Holding the stretch for a breath or two. Remembering to use the Mula Bandha breath. Now from here, you're going to take your right palm to the mat on the inside of the right foot and back knee is going to come onto the mat. You can leave your toes tucked or point your toes onto the mat, whatever feels better for you. And this time we will moonwalk in this position. So chest again starts to twist and face towards the floor. You can come onto your elbows that can make the stretch um, a bit deeper. You can stay up on your hands and just reach your fingertips long. Whatever is going to feel good to you. We're really getting into our inner right leg right now. And right arm will reach a little bit longer. You can even roll into the pinky toe edge of your right foot if that feels better and gets you more of a stretch. Last couple of breaths in this position. And exhale, walks you back up to center, untuck your toes, stepping back into plank, and exhale, waving back to down dog. Pedal out your feet again, just notice the difference from one side to the other. And then from here, slight bend in your knees and elbows again. This time left leg lifts as you exhale, create a lot of space to lift that knee into your chest and step the left foot to the left thumb. This time right hand plants firmly into the mat underneath right shoulder. Left arm extends to the sky. We'll take that circling motion. So circling down towards the earth and then building your pose from the ground up, extending to that first edge of stretch in your revolve triangle. Exhale, circle everything down. Rebuild the pose and exhale. Last time here, we're going to hold our revolve triangle for a couple of breaths. Really stretching and opening up our legs, getting us ready for the next sequence to come. Exhale, back down. Now, left hand comes to the inside of the left foot right knee plants onto the mat and we'll moonwalk here again. So this time walking towards the right side of the mat, chest is towards the floor, left arm reaches a little bit longer. You can be up on your hands or on your elbows, stretching into our inner thigh and you can again come onto the left uh, pinky toe edge of your left foot. You can even scoot your hips back and make sure that you're creating space in your knee. 
don't want to twerk our knee in our stretch, of course. Just finding a comfortable position while getting deep into this pose. Then exhale, brings you back to center, stepping back into plank and exhale back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Now let's move the energy through our body. Kind of sinking that energy in that work. So bending your knees and elbows. Exhale, wave yourself forward. Come onto your knees, lower to the mat. Inhale here, prepare, rolling in and up. And exhale, lifting in and up your deep core. Back to down dog. Very nice. Now from here, slight bend in your knees and elbows. Right leg lifts. Exhales, you create space to step that right foot to the right thumb. Inhale, prepare long spine. This time you're going to step your left foot forward, bringing your knee into your chest. Start with a really bent right leg. Extend your spine long, extending through the crown of your head. And from here, just starting to open your hips to the side. So coming into a half moon pose, but building it from the ground up. So we're starting with that length in our spine. So we have healthy alignment here. Hips are open to the side. And then from here, when we have that good hip and spinal alignment, fingertips, right fingertips are going to be wide to the right shoulder. Then from here, you can start to extend the left arm to the sky and extend your legs long. And the height of the leg isn't necessarily what's important here. It's getting that alignment from the mat, lifting up and opening, really pressing into the sky with your left foot. Again, you can be, your half moon can be here. It can be here, wherever you need to be. Play with this position building up as long as you start from the mat and build into that healthy alignment. And exhale, fold it back to center. Left knee comes into your chest. Now for a added challenge here, we're going to take a revolved half moon. So not a pose a lot of people always practice, but definitely a great one. So same thing, this time left fingertips are out wide. We start with our spinal alignment, our spine wave long. We twist now towards our right leg, like we did in our revolved triangle. We have our healthy hip and spine alignment, and then we can start to extend and see where our arm and leg position is. But again, pressing away from the mat, pressing into the earth with your left foot. Spine extends long, really lifting in and up through your core. And exhale, brings you back to center. Step that left foot back. Strong palm steps you back to plank. Exhale, waves you back to down dog. Again, notice the difference just from that sequence. We'll try it on the left side. So inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, create a lot of space. Left knee comes into chest and steps forward to meet your left thumb. Inhale, prepare, long spine. We always want good spine alignment in all of our yoga poses. And exhale, lifting through that deep core, brings your right knee into your chest. Now from here, grounding into the earth with your left foot. Left fingertips extend wide this time. And then starting to open your hips to the right. You can even keep your knee bent here if that feels good for you, if you're working up to this pose but start with aligning your hips. So really lifting in and up with your deep core. Hips are stacked and spine and shoulders and crown of the head are long. And then you find that edge of stretch for the bottom leg. You find that lift in the top leg and right arm extends to the sky. You're pressing into the sky with your right foot, just like you're pressing into the earth with your left. 
really lifting in and up through your deep core. So even though our head kind of looks like it's pointed down, we're still lifting in and up with all of our core muscles extending through the crown of our head. One more inhale and exhale here as you bend your knees coming back to center. Whew, such a challenge. Good job for trying that. We have one more moment of challenge here. So this time right fingertips are wide, spine extends long, and then we twist. And so start here, start with the twist, opening the shoulders up to the left side. You can even stay in like this weird bent variation. That's awesome. This is how you build. This is how you practice where you are. So you find the alignment first, you find your edge of stretch, and then you work your way towards extending your limbs. That comes last. The pose is built from the center first. So we start with our core and hip and spinal alignment, and then extend into our stretch and making sure we are pressing into the mat, into the air, really lifting in and up with our hips. We don't want to be slouching with our hips. It'll take us out of our alignment. One more inhale and exhale here. Exhale, very nice. Steps you back into plank. Slight bend in your elbows brings you back to down dog. Well, vinyasa again to move that energy and sink it through our body. So waving yourself forward to plank, come onto your knees through our helpful alignment in our chaturanga. Inhale in and up and exhale, this time pressing back into child's pose. You worked a lot and have definitely earned this moment of rest. And from here, we'll take a moonwalk in our child's pose so you can, I'm already facing the mat so that makes it easy, but you can walk over to the left, stretching the right side body, and walk over to the left, or to the right, back to center and whenever you're ready coming to sit and making your way onto the mat we'll come into our resting pose and windshield wiper the legs first and take any moment of stretch that you need we did stretch while we were strengthening so got a lot done in a little bit of time multitasking in yoga is awesome so if you do have any other stretches or any variations of anything you would like to take, now's the time to do it. And then when you're ready, extend your legs long, coming into your final resting pose. And take a couple of Mula Bandha breaths to help you settle into this position and sink into the mat before letting your breath go back to its natural rhythm. Take a couple of minutes to let your body reset into this open, aligned, strong position, and then you can go into the rest of your day with that openness and strength that we just cultivated through this flow. So I hope you enjoyed it. I really look forward to seeing you on the mat again. Make sure you are on the YouTube channel to get notifications for the new videos. And of course, get on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. I have exclusive content waiting for you there. So look forward to seeing you there as well. See you soon. Namaste.